This is the droid with the rainbow goddess, the rainbow goddess. This is the droid with the rainbow goddess, the rainbow goddess. Hi there, and welcome to Joyride with the Rainbow Goddess. I'm Itzel, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the best tofu ever. Seriously, like even tofu haters will love this. Anti-vegans will love this. I don't know what it is about tofu that really turns people off, but the way that I prepare it, you'll want to eat it by itself. Now, this recipe is definitely a comfort food recipe. It's not something that I make very often because it is fried and it also comes in plastic. Tofu does. And I try to reduce my plastic consumption as much as possible. I don't know if you knew this but there is literally like an island of plastic trash that has collected in the ocean that's bigger than Texas and I mean I got this fact like years ago I cannot even imagine how big it is now and plastic never actually biodegrades so it only turns into smaller particles which then are consumed by like little animals or organisms microorganisms like every single fish in the sea has plastic so even when you eat fish if you're somebody that eats fish it has plastic in it so now you're eating plastic and that can be very cancerous um so it definitely is polluting our waterways our and our land and our animals and vegetation you know trying to reduce your plastic consumption i think it's just going to bring awareness to where you can avoid it more easily and what areas you feel like you definitely can't go without it so without further ado let's head to the kitchen now in this video i'm just going to show you my technique but in my description below i will share with you three recipes one for tofu bacon another for tofu chicharron and then the last one is going to be a tofu for a banh mi which is a vietnamese like sandwich that comes in a roll and is so delicious and I'll put the whole recipe for that. This technique is very simple but it's all about those little details that make your dishes stand out and go above and beyond the ordinary. So to start the first thing you want to think about is what kind of cut you want. Now I'm going, I like doing this diagonal cut because I feel like it always stands out really cool on the plate. and. When you want to make something that's like really crispy, like let's say when you're making the chicharron or the bacon, I like to slice it real thinly. I'll show you exactly how. And you can even go thinner. The thinner you go, the crispier it'll get. Now for something like a banh mi, I might slice it a little bit thicker because I want it to have more bite and be more meaty. I want it to hold a little bit more moisture on the inside and give it a little bit of that crispy outside. The next thing you want to have is some paper towels ready. I like to let my tofu sit on the paper towels. When I draw out the extra moisture, they don't have to fry as long. You want to have a non-stick skillet and you want to make sure that your oil heats up first before you put the tofu on. If you put the tofu when it's not completely hot yet, it's just going to absorb the oil and it, it won't fry as nicely. It'll hold more of the oil than if you put it when it's really hot. And I will put a list in my description below of oils that are good for frying and the different flavor variations. While your pan heats up, you'll want to make a marinade and put it on a plate. And you can choose one of the marinades that I put in my description below. Or you could just make one up yourself by looking at the elements that I've included in each one of my marinades. Once your towels are totally damp, you want to use a new paper towel. A good test to see if your oil's ready is you splash a little water in it. Now make sure to stand back so you don't burn yourself. Now it's ready for my tofu. Make sure to use enough oil that it almost covers the tofu. Now that you see that a little brown has come around the corner, I know that it's ready to flip. The other side doesn't usually take quite as long, so keep an eye out. Now that it's reached 
the golden color that we're looking for. We want to take each one out. Some might take longer than others if you cut some a little bit thicker than others. And then I'm going to put it in my marinade. How long you let it sit in the marinade is going to determine how flavorful your tofu gets. If I leave it just a little bit, like, you know, I just let it go on one side and then I flip it and just another few seconds on the other side, then it'll just have a nice light flavor. But sometimes when it's something that I'm gonna use for sandwiches, I like to leave it for a few minutes on each side because I feel like the bread steals a lot of the flavor. So I, I like the flavor to be more intense. Now I usually like to time it that as I put these in the marinade, I put the next batch of tofu into the fryer and then once those are done, I quickly move these to my plate and I do the next round. It's ready! <laughs> mm. So... It's so good. It's my guilty pleasure because I like to eat it honestly by itself. A lot of times I can't even resist to wait to put it on a dish. Now I like to put this on so many dishes in a variety of ways and not only does it add a delicious taste, an irresistible texture, but it can also look quite cool depending on the cut that you do or the way that you place it on the plate. So make sure to look at my description below. That's where I'm going to have all the juicy information, the recipes, what oils to use, what dishes it pairs nicely with. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do that now. I put up a new video every single Monday and I'd love to see you back here. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of this video or if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. I would love to hear from you. Have a healthy, happy life. Yeah.